All right, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy KG for Life here with another video. Um, I've been scouring the interwebs trying to figure out if um if Donut Cookie decides to actually have a decent run anywhere else, but what I've been what I've been doing, so to speak. Um, and there was one YouTuber uh, by the name of YouTube. I'll put his link down in the description because. He, uh, he streamed on Twitch, and I went to the Twitch, and I saw that he was using a certain team. Um, and the team happened to have Donut on the, uh, on the thing. So, what I'm deciding to do here is try to team out. See exactly how good this team does for people like us. People like who don't have all of their labs done, who don't have half of their things done, right? Because I'm going to show y'all ahead of time where my labs are sitting so y'all understand that I'm not really sitting anywhere horrendously, you know. My, my count's well off, but as you can see here, I'm only at plus six for defenses, plus eight for attack bonus, but everything else is like one and almost not. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to... We're going to ignore that. Um... So with you two, he put up a nice little guild team, killed boss battle team. And I know a lot of people who don't know him. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through the toppings and we're going to show you all exactly what this team can do exactly. Um, let's start with our little home home girl. I'm gonna call her girl because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Is call her girl because that's whatever for me. Uh, for home girl space donut cookies, who we're using for this uh, this guild battle, uh, we're using the resonant toppings of uh, Swift Chocolate. The Swift Chocolate is running at 28% damage resist with 21% cooldown. A little bit good attack, attack speed is not that bad. Don't worry about the about these. I'm gonna fix these here in a second. Um, so if you have these, I would recommend using them. If not, just swift chocolate with enough cooldown and, and a bunch of damage resist as possible would be the best bet. If you don't have the resident toppings. <laughs> Which, if you don't have the resident toppings, what are you doing with your life? It's pretty easy to get them. Try to get them, get get your life together, people. Let's do this. Alright. Next we have Macaron cookie. Macaron cookie was one of the most recently uh, introduced cookies. Probably the last three cookies. She was one of the three. Uh, she's running at 23.5% damage uh, cooldown. Sorry. And 7.3% damage resist. Like pretty much the basic ones that you want to use. I just know to. That's fine. Uh, next, we're using full swift chocolate damage resist cooldown on Captain Caviar as well. Um, this is to help Captain Caviar give you that debuff resist along with doing that multiple damage to the donuts when they get transformed. Um, then we're rocking, uh, Squid Ink. Squid Ink's a little bit less damage resist, uh, a little bit less cooldown, 1.6, 1.8, but the, da the attack is at 46.4%, 10.4%. And then last but not least, we are running a damage resist and cooldown with... Uh, cotton cookie. Uh, pretty much is a it's a balanced cool is a balanced build for her. It's thirteen nineteen for both damage to cool down. You want to try to get as close and balanced as possible with it. And if you can't, like I said, I'm here to help. So here's what I would do if I were you. If you have any extra toppings laying around, I just recommend just getting those to twelve and just putting them on there because they doing damage to the guild boss battle is pretty fucking easy. Excuse the language, but it's pretty easy. And you shouldn't really have a problem. So, like, these are some of my leftover toppings that I'm using for most of my builds. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So, it's pretty straightforward. So, as of we're using for the treasures, we're going to be using the Conductor's Whistle, which, at the beginning of the battle, it increases the crit percent by all eyes by 15%, but also grants a buff to two cookies with the highest attack. So, there's that. And then we are going to run the old pilgrim skull 51 percent uh percent i am so sorry uh percent uh for attack and then 
Yes, we recently got a new uh, Jelly Watch, which would be this one right here, but mine isn't fully maxed out yet to even be worth to put on just yet. So I would tell you this, if you can, put this on, but if not, just keep this one on. It's it's perfectly fine to just keep the regular uh, the regular Jelly Watch on, which is 25% uh, cooldown. But if you have this at close to like 5 to 10, maybe even at 12 already, just go ahead and put that on. It's not worth it getting that decreasing cooldown for what you wanted to do. It's not worth it. So, without further ado, we're going to run a practice run on level 24. This boss will be at level 24. So, some of y'all are probably a little bit less. Some of y'all are probably a little bit more. We'll just figure it out from that point. So, let's go into a practice run. Let's see exactly what we can do. And I'm going to do this for the full auto players. I'm going to keep it on full auto, but make sure you pop. Hers when she comes off a of cooldown, and hers when she comes off cooldown. Other than that, just let it ride. Yeah, I'll put it up for the ballet so y'all can hear it. Whoa, hold on. Why is she getting eaten? That was weird. Why did she get eaten? I'd have to check on Squid's HP, yeah, I'd have to check on that and see what happens, because... That's weird that Cotton got eaten. She never really did. Yeah, see, she got eaten again. This is the one with the most HP. Oh, and we beat it though. Even with Cotton getting eaten, by the way, we was able to beat it. As the practice run for level 24. As you can see here, we did a total damage of 151.8 million. So with that being said, let's look at the... Wow, okay. Okay, well, there we go. That's your answer right there. All of the cookies did 8 million. It's kind of funny because Cotton was getting eaten the most, so that's why she probably did the less damage. But Squid Ink is going to be your biggest damage dealer on the team. That's plain and simply it. She will be always the biggest damage dealer because of what she does. Then Captain, then uh, our little girl uh, Space Donut has doing the second biggest damage, which is thirty three point seven million. So, like, then them them doing all the healing, receiving all that crap. But this is insane, if you ask me. I don't understand what. And I'm not, okay, I did forget to show y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all this right now while I got the chance to. It also may be for the fact that my Squid Ink's candy is sitting at a. Well, now, plus, plus one. Plus one now. I wonder, let me check something out real quick. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna try something, guys. So, I put her to plus 13. I, won, I wanna see. Well, for one, we need to find out why Cotton. So we need to find out why Cotton is getting eaten. Does she have any H? No, she doesn't. Oh, she does. We need to get rid of those. Okay, I'll be right back, guys, and we'll be well, and we'll figure this out together. All right, guys, we are back, and what we're gonna do? What we have to do here? We have to take away some of Cotton's uh, HP. She had some HP statted. Uh, Toppings and I need to take those away so we can be able to put um, Space Donut into the team to see exactly if it's a lot better. But also, just so y'all know, I did increase uh, Squid Ink's candy to level 13 this time. So now it's at a level 13. So we should be able to see a difference in maybe damage. Who the heck knows? I don't know, but we're gonna. But also, there is another team that's floating around that one of my people in chat uh, did just tell me uh, just just a little bit ago that uh, people are using Milky Way as well. So if that's the case, the people are using Milky Way instead of uh, instead of um, what's his face uh, macaroon cookie, we can try another guild boss battle with that 
um, and see exactly if that works or not. Yep, see, and Donut Cookie is getting eaten as as she should be. As long as Face Donut's getting eaten, we should not have a problem. Wonder how Milky Way is actually doing if that's the case. Guys, just so y'all know, this lag is happening to not to everybody, including myself. So, I am sorry about that. Did I not? I didn't practice, did I? I didn't practice! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I didn't do a practice run! I'm so mad about that! Okay, don't mind that. I am so sorry, guys. Please don't mind that. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! I'm so mad about that! I didn't even mean to do that! That wasn't a practice run! Oh god! I'm so mad about that! Hey listen, I'm a scuff streamer, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't catch on to that. I really don't know how. I really wish I knew how I didn't catch that. Yeah, I forgot to practice. I'm so mad about it. <laughs> Nobody die. Nobody die. Come on. Get your life back up. There you go. Good job. You gotta spam them heals. Wait, no. Why is she getting eaten again? Yeah, at least I beat it, so that's a good thing. At least I beat it. Oh no, she keeps on getting eaten at him. Look, that's why I'm at 92 million now? What the heck is going on? Hold on. What is happening now? I'm only at 92 mil now. What the heck just happened? I was doing 158 mil. Now I'm not. Because we got the same team up and running, don't we? Yes, 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 yes. We do. Yeah, it's always gonna be like I've noticed it, it's not Um it's not even only me. I've realized that. It's actually everybody that I've seen using LD player has been doing the same thing. So I think it's his LD player going through its uh going through its little time of the month. LD player always has this. Yeah, I think that's why I'm losing damage right now too as well. It sucks because I'm looking at it happening right now. And it's so bad. Look, she get eaten again. She's not. She doesn't have the most HP though. It's so weird. Because I know for sure she does not have the most HP. The, the the donut has the most HP. I know she. Does. See, I'm losing out on damage because of this. I am losing out on damage. That's fine. But it's fine. Well, as you can see. I mean, the, the guild battle is still good no matter what. You can still do 100 million plus. If you're not laggy like I am and you're playing on your phone, you'll probably have a better time and a better outcome than I would. So I would recommend if anybody, I would recommend to anybody. If you have this, if you have these cookies, if you have these cookies built, if you have this team built, by all means do it. I'm going to keep on using the team myself. But I'm also probably gonna do another video, but with uh with Milky Way instead, and see how Milky Way does on her own when it comes to this team. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this YouTube video. Like I said, the person that I shouted out will be down in the description below, and I uh, hope to see y'all in the next video. Which the next video is gonna be something different. Uh, this time it's going to be uh of uh, 
the story thus far is going to be the story thus far from uh, from the the dream train. So y'all can see that story all together in one video. So I hope y'all see that video when it comes out. I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care. Bye.